Feliz! We just got our car from Crystal Auto and it's beautiful and we're just trying to get out of the parking lot so it's a little stressful but it is so nice and, and hot. This is my tia Alma and Papa Chuk. Say hi Papa Chuk. San Ignacio and this is her house. It's a big blue house and we're at the very top with a gorgeous view of the whole city. Cajal Pet. It was $10 Belize for each of us to get in. So $20 Belize total. 10 US dollars. So yeah, we're just exploring. It's beautiful. We already did the iguana farm this morning and that was nice. We got to play with baby iguanas. That's where we go. <laughs> what are you eating, Jason? A beefcake. A beefcake. 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 Fuck yourself a pop bread to beefcake. <laughs> After exploring Kahal Patch, we went to our next mine ruin, Sunantunech. After the Mayan ruins, we hopped back in the car, headed to San Ignacio, and then got ready for our next adventure. Um, we're going to see Leanne's property, and then after that, we will give a tour of where Leticia was born, where her neighbor was born, and then after that, we will go and have um, lunch with the Achuk Resort. That's of, um, our family on Papa Chuk's side, and then we'll take a swim on the Bulletry River. So to get to our six acres, we legit have to drive through the jungle. It's not for rental cars. In my opinion, these were the best sabutes on the whole trip. Unfortunately, they were off the beaten path a little bit in Bullet Tree, but if you're in San Ignacio, please get yourself some sabutes. I'm moving. You're moving? The current's taking you? He's going against the current. How would you even get here? Well, you have to drive from San Ignacio straight to Bullet Tree and then come to my uncle moses's property <laughs> yeah or somebody else's property along here this is me swimming oh. swim as hard as you can i'm afraid of crocodiles but there's no crocodiles in here but i'm pretty sure there's crocodiles 
up north there. <laughs> we just had the most delicious lunch at my cousin's resort. And we had salbutas, tostadas, um, fresh pineapple juice. And the weather, it's like 86 degrees today. Perfect. February. And I have my water shoes on, my Tevas. So um, that's probably a good call. I don't. <laughs> it's slimy getting in though. Oh, it feels so amazing. What do you think of it? Mm. So good. It's so delicious. Best boyos in San Ignacio. On the street corner. Yep. By Tia Cello. Mm hmm. Who made this for Prince William and Kate Middleton. And 10 out of 10. She's been doing it for 50 years. And she served my mom when she was a little girl. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you better get it before she stops making it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then look at that. I don't know if you got the lucky bone, but that is masa and chicken. Mm -hmm. Fire made, right? Fire made. Marie Sharp, this is the hot sauce to get. Mm. So good if you like spice. It is 4.01 a.m. And we woke up at 3.30 to get packed up and on the road to leave San Ignacio to Placencia. It takes about three hours to drive from San Ignacio to Placencia, but um, luckily I got a SIM card for my phone, so I have the GPS. We have a boat tour with Captain Jax scheduled at 8 a.m., so we'll get there around 7, try to find some breakfast, and then go straight to our boat tour. And we're gonna go to Moho Key and Silt Key. And we're gonna be checking into our Airbnb. Before the boating trip, we had to, of course, get some coffee because I'm not gonna be stranded out in the middle of nowhere without some coffee first. Then we went to our first destination, which was Silt Key and it was absolutely stunning. For anyone wondering about going to Belize in February, yes, the water is cold, so we didn't last too long, but it was a lot of fun, and we got incredible GoPro footage, which we lost all of it. And that kind of stinks because we caught all of the nurse sharks on there, the stingrays, the marine life, and us making silly faces under the water, but we'll have to do that again next time. After snorkeling at Silt Key, we were so hungry, so next up, Moho Key. And this was special because the chef that came with us was there preparing all of our food. He made the most delicious barbecue chicken, rice and beans, and just a lot of beverages. So we went back there, relaxed, and just soaked up the sun. It's our last day in Placencia. We tried to sleep in, but we woke up, well, you woke up at like 5.30 and then woke me up. So now we're here to see the sunrise and it's so beautiful. And then we're gonna go get coffee and then get breakfast at Wendy's and then get going. We found that Above Grounds Coffee was the best coffee shop in all of Placencia. We went there twice in the span of two hours to get the same thing. It was that good. Guys, we found the spot. If you come to Placencia and you want somewhere to get good breakfast and smoothies and all of that, you need to come here. It's called the Shack Beach Cafe. This is literally amazing. It's just so beautiful. It's right on the beach. This is it. It's right here. Just this gorgeous location. After having a really yummy breakfast, back to San Ignacio. We were so fortunate that on our last night in San Ignacio, we went down to the riverside and there was an awesome festival going on with live music. Of course, we had to get some churros and then we headed back just to get ready to wake up super early to go to the airport.